All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Fat Stash, and we are continuing our let's play of Ratchet and Clank. And get away from the trees! I'm the Lorax. I speak for the trees. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, uh, they're stealing all the trees, even though they only need some of the trees. But really, they don't need any of the trees because they're, they're the bad guys. Yeah, and they're robots. Why do they need trees? Which is funny because in a place so lush with greenery. I don't think there's a single organic life form on this planet. Huh. So maybe this planet doesn't need the trees. <laughs> they really don't need the trees. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, uh. I'm the Lorax. You know what? Maybe we should give them some trees. <laughs> <laughs> that planet has no trees, and ours has many. <laughs> Okay. You know, they, you can just like take like, the seeds and like, <laughs> I don't know, just re-terraform your planet or whatever. No, they're building a whole new planet, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they can just plant seeds. <laughs> the glove of doom. The hell does that do? Um, it's basically the agents of doom from the the uh, new game. So basically, you throw it out, and a bunch of little robots come out and. Uh, attack things. Okay. So, so far we still only have really one gun. <laughs> one range gun. And really, it doesn't have the greatest range. The, the bullets kind of fizzle out after a little bit. Although one bullet is enough to destroy a whole spaceship, apparently. Well, not bad then. <laughs> I'll forgive a little fizzling. This is a skill point, by the way. Okay. I wondered what you were doing. <laughs> There's a lot of skill points that are pretty much just like, hey, destroy like 10 flying ships. That's why all the planets have so many flying ships. <laughs> like, they get better in like the later games, but in this one, they're, they're not the most creative skill points. Destroy 11. <laughs> <laughs> No way. Radical, dude! <laughs> You're really getting that next level shit. Get me Skid McMarks. <laughs> oh, God. And once again, another level proving that your wrench is all that you really need. What a shame. What a shame. Another straight... Like... <laughs> and it's be super athletic to use those ladders. <laughs> Fucking Captain Core can't get them up here. <laughs> and I mean, really, you look at the range when we throw our wrench, and it's kind of better than some of the weapons we have. Our wrench ain't fizzling out, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> was that all that was up there? Yes. That was awful. That, that literally wasn't worth the time. <laughs> yeah, but bolts are so scarce in this game that you need to, like, grab every bolt. <laughs> That's fucking awful. <laughs> Especially in, like, New Game Plus, because this game doesn't have a bolt multipl bleh, multiplier like the other games, so... It's even more of a nuisance to, like, get 150,000 bolts for the Rhino. And the sad thing is, like, you compare it to the other games, and... I think they're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I think the other games, the Rhino in the second game is a million, and I think the Rhino in the third game is like 2,700,000. Such a random number, but okay. Yeah, and the later game had like special armors that cost like millions of bolts and stuff. Yeah, so I'm like, 150,000 doesn't seem like a whole lot for the most powerful weapon in the game, but... <laughs> Also, I'm pretty sure I remember having like all the armors and uh, all the weapons like fighting in the third game too. Yeah. What I find kind of cool is like the enemies in the in this game kind of use the same weapons, so you can see these guys are shooting the blaster. Okay. Oh fuck. But they have better precision than I than I do because my auto lock on sucks and I don't have a straight feature, so it's just easier to run up to them and dodge their bullets and hit them with the wrench again. I bet they can fucking strafe this. <laughs> So 
So, like, we're gonna try to stomp the bad guys, but they've already stolen, like, a fuckload of trees. Yeah, really. They've already accomplished their mission. The oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, come on. I fucking tried to kill me. That's another thing, the right... The wrench attack has a better lock on than the yeah. weapon. Definitely risk reward, but it seems to work out better more in the end than some weapons. See this guy Dean, he wasn't even paying attention to me. <laughs> Sneak attack! Ah! Oh, you were hiding behind that tree the whole time! Where'd he go? Ah! Ninja Blarg! <laughs> Wait, is that are they called Blargs? Yeah, that's their race. Blargs. I don't have any game audio, so I literally didn't know that up till part four. <laughs> I've missed so many good jokes! <laughs> Alright, give us a minute. Bomb glove? More like Blarg. <laughs> So watching you play right now, this game looks like a lot more of a collect -a than I'd ever remember. Like, you don't need to collect stuff, but I just see you, like, running around everywhere just collecting all the little bolts. Yeah. It's kind of addicting collecting bolts, if I'm being honest. Just the That's game- fair. The game has really good audio design, so it's just like, every time you, like, break a bunch of crates, it's just like, ding 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 Uh, nothing for me will beat, the uh, collecting, like, a big thing full of gems in Spyro. Oh, I know. That nice little crunch, like, <laughs> and then Yeah. Ding -ding! Especially the, at the end when you like confront money bags at the th end of the third one, you just charge them and you get all the gems. It's like <laughs> I fucking shit my pants the first time when I was a kid, and like I like hit them the first time and like all like the hundred and like fifty gems. Like I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> ah, they finished them off for me. Games, I think the wrench has better oh, than blaster, eh? We'll show you. The shitty thing about the wrench in this game, though, um... Shit. Oh, oh god, fuck. I forgot that uh, going to the quick select doesn't freeze time in this game also. Alright, I won't make that mistake again. For the third time. Shh. Eh, bomb glove. <laughs> I don't even... Can you throw it while in the air? You can't even throw it while in the air, so it's just even more of a clunky weapon. That's pretty shit. I remember... Did the, did the third game have a bomb, bomb glove? Because I remember being able to throw something in the air. Um, it had a bomb launcher, so... Fuck, what are we gonna... <laughs> at this rate, what are we gonna talk about when we get to the third game? <laughs> <laughs> third game has a black hole gun. I don't know what beats that. <laughs> I remember the third game's Rhino actually being kind of boring. It was. It, it uh, just shoots a, out a big thing of uh, lasers and then it it flashes and then it uh, just kind of yeah, melts it, nukes everything on the screen that you you got in view. So it's, it is really boring. Same with the ultimate weapon from Jack Free is actually pretty boring. Yeah. So see this enemy? You'd think he'd be the toughest on the planet since he's the largest, but he just stands there, just looking at you. He can't throw his axe like you can throw the wrench. <laughs> exactly. Well, that would be pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> Be a sweet mini boss for this level, that'd be sh that's for sure. Without spoiling anything, when do we actually fight that lieutenant guy? Lieutenant guy. Oh, uh. Pretty far. Pretty far into the game. Okay. In that case, they set him up really awkwardly. <laughs> I mean, he's revealed. fairly early. But you don't fight him for a while? Do you only, do you only encounter him the one time, or is it like Ratchet's all like, eh, I can beat him, and then like, he like, kicks your ass one time, and has to leave for some reason? Nope, just the one time. <laughs> oh. Yeah. See, in the original game, I think there was three of those robots in here, but I guess they got rid of them for some reason? I guess they- Maybe it was too hard. <laughs> maybe they, they thought that having three freaking robots just standing there taunting you was too much for you to handle. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I mean, kids fine. today! <laughs> this really points out how stupid this enemy is. 
Yeah, you know, just fucking spraying around, hoping, hoping that shit hits. <laughs> oh no, this is the room with three of them. Okay, never mind. So if we're trying to, like, where are they taking the trees? Because you assume they're taking them off planet, but we're just on the planet. Like, it'd make more sense if you were, like, raiding some, like, transport ship or something. Yeah. Because they've already ripped up all the trees. They're, like, up in space somewhere, I assume. Yeah. Like, we're not really saving the planet at this point. The planet's already been, like, torn apart. Well, I guess we're saving the rest of the planet, because they continue to take all the trees anyway. Even though they don't need more, but... I wonder if there's like a dark, gritty fanfic about like a planet that got like ripped up by this bad guy, and now like this is like the ecosystems all like fucked up, and like the at wildlife are all dying off. <laughs> all right, we got the suck cannon. Ironically, it blows. Then fire them out as high caliber missiles. Is it good though? <laughs> no, it blows. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I mean, it could suck, and then it could still do all right. This joke is already tired. <laughs> oh, holy shit, don't knock me off! Oh, you slippery little bastard. <laughs> I mean, it actually seems pretty good. It only works on small enemies, though, so... I, I guess, guess... I guess it's... I guess for a game where freaking auto-lock-on is absolutely shit, this is actually a pretty good weapon. But just in terms yeah. of in terms of practicality, you can only suck shit up, um, like continuously until you let go of the the suck button, and then once you let go, you have to empty whatever you've sucked up. Right, I remember that being annoying. It'd be cool if you could like toggle it. Yeah, if you could like, I want right now. I want to suck, and then I'll blow. <laughs> And you give it a give it a little lick. <laughs> Wait, what? This game weird. <laughs> Don't put your dick in the suck can. <laughs> you think anyone's ever like on their way to work, like it's this point, it's like, oh, you know what? I left my wrench at home. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hey, to call the Barbara! Boss, gonna Barbara, work. can you can you drive my wrench here? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dear. <laughs> I can't. I locked the wrench inside of the car. Ooh. Actually, yeah. Even even on the planets, when you're like in a big like, well, like Metropolis, when you're in like a big metropolitan city, like. So have to do a bunch of like crazy platforming just to get around. <laughs> then again, I guess in, I guess in like a lot of the bigger cities, you see people driving cars around. But then why doesn't Ratchet just fucking rent a car? Yeah. I guess if I mean, I mean, like, he wouldn't. Why would he rent a car if he's gonna be there for like twenty minutes? <laughs> uh, would you like to get renter's insurance? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, how much coverage do I get with that? See, now you got like these things that block the lasers. Okay. So that's where the kind of puzzle aspect comes in more later in the game. Because you got a lot of those. Alright, it's time for our first epic boss battle. I'm going to grab you with my hands. Did he poop or drop that? I think it's implying that he pooped. He was ready to attack Clank, and then Ratchet looked all messy. He's just like, ah, shit, and then he ran away. <laughs> your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester, warhead assembly technician, Mutant Animal Husbandry, Robot Repair Man, Suck Cannon Test Dummy, and Administrative Assistant. So call B. I remember that little scientist guy from later games. <laughs> you your future. I'm calling BTS today. 
Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. So I have no audio, but that was basically just a commercial for like weapons and stuff, right? Yeah, it's basically like kind of like a work advertisement. It's like, uh, is your current job leaving a foul test in your mouth? So it's like listing off a bunch of jobs like suck cannon test dummy and shit. I'm not gonna lie, you actually told me there. I thought that was a boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it was pretty convincing, wasn't it? He doesn't get me often, but when he does, it's on YouTube. <laughs> also, for some reason, I thought I remember. I thought I remembered Ratchet being the Captain Quark fan, but actually, Clank's like the little fanboy. Yeah, I think in yeah, he's not really a fan. He just thinks he's like a really big superhero, and he needs to find him because he has to stop Drek, and Captain Quark can help him do that. But Ratchet, he has kept it. Wait, that, we didn't even stop them on that planet. They're still ripping that planet apart. We didn't do anything there. <laughs> God damn it, we failed again. <laughs> I didn't even notice. We just ended the planet. They're, they, they've taken all the trees. We didn't stop anybody. They're still there as we speak. <laughs> Ratchet, you're a terrible hero. <laughs> Whatever, this probably looks like a good spot to end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, see you guys next time on Fat Stash Plays Ratchet and Clank.